Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick and I'm a top author on trading room with over 260k reputation points and every day I share a lot of free education and analysis for all of you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all this free content and I will see you on the chart. In today's video, I want to speak about NZB CHF. Now, as usual, what I will be doing is providing a complete multi time frame top of that analysis, both from a technical and in order flow perspective to see what the biggest a hedge funds are currently doing in the market. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. I also wanted to let you know that we have currently been running the Black Friday month promotion. You have a massive discount for the mentorship program and you also have the possibility to get a full refund of the mentorship program price directly in your trading account since we have partnered with the forex broker blueberry markets you find the link in the description now starting here on the monthly time frame what do we have now here on the monthly we can see that at the moment we are testing quite strong previous monthly resistance which is now turned support here now when you have a level of previous resistance turn support that is a clouded by all the wicks that you have here, a quick trick is going down on the line chart. And if you check the line chart, you can clearly see how the previous resistance turn support is exactly here, where we have just placed this horizontal ray, which is this angle that you see here, which is obviously previous resistance turn support. And we can see now here on the monthly in a much more clear way how the market is currently testing previous resistance turn support, and there is the possibility to see a rejection to the upside. We drop down on the weekly time frame and what do we see now here in the weekly? We can see how we have it just created a lower low dropping below this previous low here by a few pips. This could easily be a stop hunting of all the stop losses that were below this low for all the longs that the market that a market participants started adding when this move to the upside started. And this could be an easy liquidation zone since clearly this previous resistance or support on the monthly from which when then we see an accumulation and a rejection to the upside. On the weekly time frame, what we can also notice is that in creating this move to the downside, the market is also printing an M pattern. And in general, after the creation of an M pattern, we expect the market to provide a move to the upside and complete the pattern itself at the previous support turned resistance. And the NM pattern is exactly what we see if we drop down also here on the daily time frame. Just a quick thing, make sure that you like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below any suggestions for new videos. On the daily, first of all, we can clearly see how precisely we are testing the support and demand that we have identified on the monthly. And we can also see that in testing this area, the market is also printing this M pattern here. And as we have just said, after the creation of an M pattern, we expect a rejection to the upside and completion at the neckline. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is basically what hedge funds and the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, we can see how lately net positions have been increasing. We went from having minus 2.1K net positions all the way up to having a positive 13.9K net positioning with 26.3K longs and only 12.4K shorts. So the NZD is getting very strong. And if we go and see what we have on the CHF, what we can see is that Currently on the CHF, we still are increasing the short term, the net positions. However, we still have more shorts than longs with 14.3K shorts and 5.5K longs. And in the long term, we went from having a positive net positioning with more longs than shorts on the CHF from an institutional perspective to now having more shorts than longs. So the CHF is getting weaker in the long term, meaning that a potential rejection to the upside considering the weakness of the CHF and strength of the NZD is definitely possible. So the technicals and what we have from an order flow perspective seem aligning for a potential short term rejection to the upside. So how we will be approaching this potential short term longing opportunity here with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data. Those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames. So for our 
and lower. Therefore, with students, what we will be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the downside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we have right now to an intraday bullish market. And if only if the market will shift from an intraday bearish to an intraday bullish market, only at that point we will be adding NZDCHF to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be looking for a potential long with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete the pattern at the previous support turn resistance here from a daily perspective if you enjoyed the video make sure that you smash that like button and comment below it really does support the creation of more free analysis education and updates for all of you you can also go and check out the mentorship program the link is in the description it's a very complete program first you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies then Every single day, you get a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies in live market. And you also get your questions answered every day in the daily Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.